All right, guys, welcome to this video. I wasn't too sure what to call it, but basically this video is like the laziest way to make a good website. So I don't want you to be a lazy web designer necessarily, but I want you to build your websites in the easiest way. And this is the easiest way that I know of. This is how to build websites that look great, that get results, that help your clients, and that are just done as fast as possible. Your job as a web designer is to get the job done, get the result. You shouldn't be spending all week or all month making these websites. I wanna show you a way to do it in literally just a couple of hours. The web design part of the project, have the you know design done, have the layout done, have all your pages ready to go, and then you can put your time, your energy, your focus into the rest of the project to get the best results possible. Just one announcement before we get into it, there is a new team member here at Fox Web School. This is a super important announcement. Um, the school's been doing well, we wanted to expand. So we brought someone new onto the team and I wanna introduce them right now to you. All right, so here he is, it is Skipper my new uh 10 week old chihuahua <laughs> he's still pretty shy but he's a really really cool guy so i just got this guy a couple of days ago actually and he's just basically chilling out here in the office all the time so he actually just hangs out mostly underneath the desk <laughs> underneath the chair i don't know why but um yeah just wanted to introduce him to you guys and uh, it's been pretty cool having this guy the last couple of days. Okay, so no more announcements, that's it. If you're ready to go, let's jump into this video. If you have any questions at any stage of this, just post up down below and also for the resources with this video and for a few more videos that get into what I'm gonna teach you on this video, just check out the links in the description as well. Okay, so starting from the last video, if you've seen the last video, you would have known that we looked at the business problems and then we came up with these sections. All I've done since that last video is I've just cleaned this up a little bit to make it easier to go through this video. This is our plan for the website ahead, our boxing gym project. We're gonna have this top section. We're gonna have a section about the gym with a call to action at the bottom. We're gonna have a section with the one-on-one -on -one lessons, another call to action, a group classes section with a call to action, frequently asked questions section with testimonials, include the location. And then the final thing that we're trying to get them to do, which is the contact form and the footer. So if you're ready to go, let's look at how I'm actually gonna code this up. Okay, so I'm here on themeforest.net. This is where I'm gonna get my theme. For this particular project, I'm using a HTML theme because one, the client doesn't wanna do any updates themselves. They don't wanna manage the website. And two, it's gonna be static content. So there's no real need for WordPress or any sort of backend system. It's just gonna be content that stays there. Maybe some updates over a year or two years or whatever, but nothing that justifies uh, a more complicated system. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it really, really simple. HTML themes which is just, I think, as basic as it gets for building a great website. So what I do is I go to the popular section. Why I do that is I don't want to use, and I'll give you an example here. Um, let me go to this. I don't want to use a specialized theme where it's like just for boxing or it's just for a gym or something. I find those themes are sometimes not the best. They're too specific and they've only been built with like one or two pages in mind. And sometimes they don't have the best support or they don't have any support and they're just not that well proven. So what I like to do instead is stick to the most popular themes like these that just have a ton of good reviews. You know the support is good and you know the theme, which basically means the code is just tried and tested, it's proven to work. So the one I'm gonna use for this particular website is this theme here, Porto. I had a look through earlier and this is the one that I like the most. Just really good theme, um, it's well made, it's well tested lots of different pages, lots of different um, sections, and we'll get into that in a moment. And I just know it's gonna work well. So I'm just gonna click in here and give you guys a sneak preview. So here's the theme. And as I said, there's just a bunch of different pages, uh, all these different elements, all these different features. And for me, when I'm building a website, that's just perfect. I can quickly grab the sections that I need going off the plan that I just showed you a few moments ago, and I can quickly just make up a website that looks great. So while I was looking through this theme, I found one demo in particular that I really liked, and that's gonna be the kind of core theme or the core design that I'm gonna to use to base this website around. And it was this one here, uh, Industry Factory. I just thought it looked kind of cool and had sort of the style or the color scheme and a few different things that I liked and that I think will match this boxing gym. So I don't like the top section, I'm gonna switch that. But down here, as I get to these other sections, this kind of style here with this font, um, this layout, these call to actions, um, like this testimonial section here, this thing, I just like the, the layout of this and this contact form, et cetera. So this is the main section of this theme that I'm gonna base the website around. And there's quite a few different pages here that I can just pull the code out of. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about with HTML themes, I have a bunch of videos to explain how to buy the right theme, how to make the website itself, how to set this up. So I'll link to those below. Just check out the description of this video. Watch just like one of those and you'll have a really good idea of what I'm talking about here. But basically, I just like the way that these like blocks of code are set up and just how it looks. Like I just think this looks clean, it looks nice. I know this theme is well built. It's going to work well and I'm liking the design here. So for my purposes, this is great. I could just take a bunch of these different sections and quickly within literally like 20, 30 minutes, um, have this website set up the design of the website the way I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and just show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so my template is downloaded. I'm just gonna expand this. Now, basically for me to work with a HTML template, I'm gonna use brackets. If you don't know what brackets is, I'll have a link below, but it's just a way to edit the website offline, have it the way that you want it, and then you can go ahead and upload it online, and then it's gonna work as a normal website. Now, to do that, if I just open up this folder straight into brackets, you will see, and this is pretty much the same with any theme or any template, that there's just way too many files. Like you do not need this many files to get this HTML um, website online. This is basically every page and think back to the theme that we're using here. It's every page and every section and every feature that comes with this theme, way too much stuff. So what we need to do instead is to create a work folder and this is gonna be the folder that we move just the files that we need to do this particular website into. So just create a blank folder on your desktop like this and all you're gonna do is move across the folders and the files that you have to, to make your website work. Now to do this, it's a little different with every theme, but this is basically how it normally works um, for like 99.9% .9 of themes. Go to sort by kind, and you'll see these main folders that come with the theme. Now these folders here are the folders that any of these HTML pages are going to need to work. A HTML page by itself, doesn't have any style, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't work. It's just like the basic information on the page. It's like the text and the sections, and that's about it. For it to actually look good and to you know have some JavaScript and some PHP and the videos and the photos, it needs to connect to these different folders. So what we're gonna do first is just copy all of these folders and just drop them in our work folder. So just drop them over here, perfect. Now. As these are going over here, the next thing that we're gonna need is to basically just start off with the main pages that we think we're gonna to use to build our website from the template. So if I go back to the template, the main section or the you know style that I wanted to use was this demo that they had, the industry factory demo. And there's a lot of different demos with this one theme that I could be using, but this is the demo that I like the most. So I just wanna move across the files that are relevant to that demo first. And you can see that there's a few different pages that come with this demo. So what I do is just go back again to my folder here and all these main folders have moved across to the work folder, which is perfect. So now I'm just looking for the pages that I need to build the website. So I know it's the demo section. So I just go down here, lucky it's all in order, go to the demo section, and then I'm looking for the industry one, which is here. And there's a few different pages, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just move all of those across to my work folder. Okay, so I've copied over the main files that I wanna use. The folders are here, so those files are gonna have the right style and they'll look like they did online when we downloaded the theme. So now I'm ready to go ahead and open up brackets. Okay, so here in brackets, I'm just gonna open up the folder that I'm using for this project. Here it is, so we have it open, perfect. Let's walk through a little bit about how this works. Okay, so each of these files over here is one of the pages from the template or the theme. So if I click on this and I just press this button, it's gonna load what it looks like offline, but what it would eventually look like if we just put it as it is online. And it looks like this. So this is what a template page looks like when you download it. Basically the exact same as it was online, except they remove the images so that you can later add in your own images and you know what size to put them in. So if we go back to our online site right here, Here's the About Us page. You can see, apart from these images, that it looks the exact same. I'm just gonna downsize this. Here it is again. So what we're gonna do, if we go back to our original plan, is really, really simple. We're gonna go through this plan and basically find the sections that we want for each of these sections. So these are the starting pages that we have. We're gonna go use as many of those as we can to basically just find sections that look good 
for these different purposes that we need them for. So let's just say this section here. So the one-on-one -on -one lessons and the call to action. If I look at the online version first, so before I downloaded it, I might say, okay, this section here with this image and this text and this image and this text, that would be perfect for the one-on-one -on -one coaching section. I could have a photo of the guy coaching someone here. We could talk about why he's such a good coach. Down here, we could have another photo with him coaching someone one-on-one. -on -one. And we could talk about some more stuff about how the one-on-one -on -one coaching is so good, how it gets the results that people want. And then we could have our call to action down below here, exactly like it is in the plan right here, these two sections. So then what I would do here in brackets is just load up that exact page. So the about us page, the one I was looking at online, and I would just find those same sections that I liked, which was this section, this section, and then a call to action, which is here. So what I'm gonna do is actually just remove the sections with this page that I don't want. So I don't want this section, so I just click on it. It highlights the section right here. You can see it goes from here to here where it's highlighted. So I'm just gonna delete that exact same thing. And then there's one other section that I don't want. I don't want this either. So I'm gonna delete that, reload the page. Okay, cool. So now I have two nice sections that I can use to make the one-on-one -on -one coaching section. So this part here, with this cool image, I can add in some text, some copywriting, have another image down here, some more text, and then a call to action that will bring people to the bottom of the website. Basically, again, just following the plan here for this part of the website, that was the exact plan, one-on-one -on -one lessons, call to action. Now, what I would do next is a few different things. So first off, I gotta change this main file to index. And if you've ever built a website before, you will know why I'm doing that for a website when you host it online with the hosting you need to have one file called index. So the hosting knows which is the main page of the website. Even with a one page website, if I only upload one file, I still need it to be called index so that the hosting knows to load that file first. But that's kind of a, a sidetrack thing for now. What I wanna focus on is actually just organizing this a little bit better. So with this section here, what I wanna do is start changing the text a little bit. So I'm just gonna click on this, which will show where it is in brackets. And what I wanna do is just put it in here. What is this section? So it's gonna be the one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, section. Perfect. So just load this again. Now, as I go through this website, when I add in more sections, I can just keep track of exactly what's going on. So, okay, this is the one-on-one -on -one coaching section. And then what I can do is, let me just do this as well, add it in for the other parts. So just load this one more time. What I've done is just added names for these different sections. So one-on-one -on -one coaching section, one-on-one -on -one coaching section, call to action, click to contact form. So as I add in the different sections, I can keep track of my plan and I can see that it's coming together. So I only have one little section for now, sure. But as I add in group classes and another call to action and frequently asked questions and testimonials and the promo video on why this gym, as I add in these sections here, I can start to get a feel for the website and understand it as I go through, just looking at the design, see that it looks good, see that it's gonna to work together, that it flows nicely, that the sections are all there. Now there's one last thing here, which is the images. So I'm very quickly just gonna cover that. So with these images, you would just click on them like this. That will show you the file path. And with that file path, you just find it in your work folder. So here's my work folder. It's gonna be the images section. Let me just go like this. Uh, so it's demos, industry factory, genetic, genetic two. So demos, which is um, right here, industry factory, right here, genetic, and then genetic two. So it's this image. So all I would do is basically just open this up in Photoshop and switch it out with the image that I have for the project and then just save it again. Now, as you get more advanced to this, you wanna change these file names um, to your own custom folder. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, just check out the other videos that I have in the link below. But once you add in those images and you start changing the name of the text, your website's gonna start to come together as the rough overview. So you'll have your plan like this, you'll have your different sections with the names and you'll have the images in there and you can start to get a feel for the website. What I'm gonna do right now is kind of just like jump ahead and just show you how that looks. Okay, so here it is, let me reload it one more time just to kind of show you how it looks. This is the stage I'm now up to. It's gonna look like I'm a lot ahead of where I was just kind of a few seconds ago in this video, but not really. All I did was just add in those sections what we talked about, then I added in the images, 
and then I added in the names for the different sections just to keep track of what I'm doing. So here's the top section. Let me run through the website really fast. Top section, why this gym? Then we have the section about the coach. Then we have our promo video. We have the first call to action, the first big one. We have our section about one-on-one -on -one coaching with our images added in here. We have our next call to action. And obviously this writing is all gonna change. It's just for me to keep track of the website for now. We have the group classes section. We have another call to action. We have a frequently asked questions section here. People can check out whatever questions. This will change later as well. I added in an extra little call to action. We have testimonials. We have a map showing the location of the gym, a contact form with some important business details and a footer here at the bottom with some extra details uh, that are important as well. So to scroll back up to the top here and just kind of recap everything for now, all I did was what I was talking about earlier. I just grabbed these different sections from the theme. So for example, here's where I got the top section. It was from their header section. Here is the section with the three images. I just grabbed this and moved it into the page that I was working on. When I moved it across, the style changes automatically. So I didn't custom code any of this or anything. It's just this style is different with the industry theme. So when I grabbed the code from other pages, it made it look nice. Didn't have to custom code anything. Super quick to do this. Um, here's another section here that I showed already, but the map, the contact form, exact same as it is over here. So it's really just having a good plan, which is where we started and what we covered in the last video, having that good plan, having the sections that you want, understanding what those sections are gonna solve as far as business goals go, and then just having a good theme and just grabbing the different sections that you like and just building out this plan that you already had in place. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the design at this stage of the website and pretty much the design for the whole website. I don't think there's too much more I'll be adding to the website from now on design-wise. Now, what does that mean? Is this project pretty much finished or is there still a lot left to do? Yes and no. The design is an important part, but the design can be done very, very quickly. And to be honest, my perspective of web design, I think design is just a smaller part of building a website. It's great that the website looks good, but that's kind of the minimum entry to high value, high level web design. If you wanna be someone who gets paid a lot to solve business problems, it kind of goes without saying that your website is gonna look good, but that doesn't necessarily solve the business problems that you're setting out to solve. If you wanna be someone who comes in and just changes the business in a big way, you have this huge impact, your websites really mean something to the business, so they're worth a lot of money, it's gotta be more than design. Now, what I wanna show you, and this is why I broke it up into two different videos, in the next video, I wanna show you the strategy side of this website. It's good that it looks good, but that is not going to be enough. I want to get this client results. I want to help their business. I want to get them to move forward with their goals next year for this business. So I got to have a very clear and effective strategy behind this website. And you're going to need it too. If you want to charge high prices for your websites, if you want to get these big clients, if you want to do these great big projects, which help people, but also are very profitable, you got to have that strategy behind your web designs as well. So in the very next episode, I'm going to get into that. Any questions though at this stage, just let me know down below. Check out the next video. If you're not, hit subscribe already. If you like this video, please smash the like button. Uh, again, any comments, let me know and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.